Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Werewolf the Apocalypse Earthblood. Alright, so we have not had a video in the series for a while, guys. It's, it's been a long time. Sorry about that. For those of you who were watching it, obviously we didn't have a lot of people watching this series. It wasn't very popular. Uh, and that wasn't intentional. Uh, it just kind of happened. Oh. All right. What I was saying is that wasn't intentional. We didn't uh, plan to to just stop the series and then not have a finale or or say anything about it. I don't know if there's anybody still left around here. We killed them all. And they just all disappeared. It's I love time. I love how he jumps up on this. He even sits <laughs> up on there. That's great. Skills. <laughs> He's very fox-like in yeah. a way. Yeah, like a cat. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I, the 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 jump looks more foxy, true, fox-like than uh. Just frolicking through the fields. Mm -hmm. All right, so yeah, clearly we didn't need to go through there, guys. I'm hesitant to start talking because I feel like something's gonna. <laughs> we're gonna have some talking Battle. in the game starting soon. Uh, but yeah, we weren't. Uh, we didn't intentionally have the the break, guys. Unfortunately, Jinx has been incredibly uh, busy at work. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, she works in a pharmacy, and her pharmacy started giving out uh, COVID vaccines. Yeah, good times. <laughs> and yeah, it's just been very, very hectic, guys, because of that. And Jinx has been working more hours. I'm just tired. And then, yeah, it's just also incredibly stressful. A big part of that's because of uh, the policies of her pharmacy, which have been nonsensical All that and like people are scared man yeah pe people are panicked as well so there is mm -hmm. that uh so so because of that uh you should just didn't feel like recording very much guys so that's the reason why we haven't had very many videos during this time uh, but her pharmacy did give out all the covid vaccines that they had uh so they give out their gave out their supply and so we should have a a normal schedule here uh, until she gets more. Until we get more. And, yeah, and even then, we're gonna try and stay stay on the schedule uh, because we don't know how long she'll be doing COVID vaccines. So for eternity. <laughs> but yeah, th I do apologize for not being anything on this, and you'll notice that this is also gonna be the finale video, guys. And, and the reason for that is because mainly because this is just not a very popular series, and then for us to have taken such a, a long break, I expect it'll be even less popular, which. Really couldn't think that that'd be possible, but I think it is. <laughs> I think we will see less people watching. When I think of what they did to Leandra, I, I just hope we can help. Did they? I think they burned them all. Oh. Mm hmm. That's what I think happened here. All right, so we could run up through that way. That would be a possibility. We haven't been using our vision. I don't know if we missed any of those uh, little spirit things. Little spirit guys, but. Can't get my head around the facts. Oh, there's a spirit guy right there. Strength strength will not last forever. He needs your help. Some silly-looking little guys. Mm-hmm. So yeah, even though this is gonna be the finale video because it's only five videos in the series, uh, we'll be like a regular video, guys. We'll we'll keep playing uh, for this this go. episode. But life's picking up again in the Cairn. Ludmilla, I hope you can see this. Wherever you are. As you know, Magadon claims they opened a new lab to develop natural supplements. That's obviously a front, but they've got the public eating out of their hand. And they just brought their supplements to market. If we don't expose them, a whole lot of unsuspecting people are going to get poisoned. The new lab of theirs is still under construction, and their security's full of holes. It's the perfect time to stage an attack. We split into three teams. You two take Every the step the Move forest the loses the is south. one the world Alex, gains. Danny, Quinn, you three create a diversion at the east entrance. Everyone stay in contact. If we hear even a whisper of trouble, we're out of there. Be ready to act as soon as I hear from our mole. All right, so they're planning some type of operation. But yeah, as I was saying, we will uh, have a regular episode uh, for this one. Just keep playing and... And uh, get as far as we can get here. It's not a very long game uh, overall, from what I've seen. I think you could probably beat this in one or two sittings if you really were dedicating to it. Where's our damn daughter? 
some uh, messages you guys can Following in her look at. Footsteps. We I cannot read that. Thing. That's too tiny. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is really tiny. We're not gonna. We're not gonna read all these. Well, it is important for the story here. Been so proud. I forgot how loud this game is. I'm turn that this down. Two years ago now. We're just snooping through her diary. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, just all up on her shit. Oh yeah, that's right. We can interact with these. Sniffing. Mm hmm All right, so we almost have enough to get that. Uh, there's something we were saving up for. We have one point, and we're saving up to get something for two points. I think all the best stuff right now is, is two points. I think our daughter's here. I think that's who we're looking for right now. Is, is yeah, I think so. Better computers on. Let's snoop. Yep, we're gonna go snooping that too. Well, let's first snoop in her diary. My Irish <laughs> brethren, but that was a lifetime ago. Now we'll see what's here in this computer. Cahal, you know I hate it when people mess with my stuff. That's an impressive amount of equipment. It's the bare minimum for leading a handful of activists against a megacorp like Indran. Haven't changed much, have you? Aside from a couple of new lines on your face. <laughs> Thanks, asshole. You know, I always knew you'd come back. It was just a matter of when. This isn't quite the reunion I had in mind. But it's a happy one. I heard about your handiwork at the mine. Adana. Kahal? You must have a lot to talk about. I'll go check on the solar panels. Catch you later. Adana, I... How are you doing? You've grown. It's not worth trying to rebuild that bridge now, Kahal. Not after abandoning me for five years. I'm sorry, Adana. Where do you think an apology is going to get you? You know, it was hard enough to get over Mom's death. But dealing with the fact that you chose to leave me behind when I needed you most? That left a scar. You were so focused on doing what you thought was right, that you never thought about what it might do to me. I don't blame you if you hold it against me. But I still stand by my choice. I spent those five years finding my way back to the man I was. Even if you were with me, I... wouldn't have been me. And you'd have been just as alone. I was in no state to look after you. I couldn't have been the father you needed. I wasn't. Stop, Kahal. I'm really not in the mood to hear you rewrite our family history. Endrin just carved a bloody wound into my cairn. They killed my friends. Right now, all I care about is tearing Endrin apart. Rodko told me you and Ava were undercover at Endrin during the attack. That's right. I managed to infiltrate the fracking site. They just upped my security clearance, too. I've got access to their protected data. This is the best chance we've ever had at taking Endrin down. We sink them from the inside. How was it with Rodko and Ava? Honestly, it was hard at first. Rodko was... He was really mad at himself. Over you going away over mom's death. He obsessed over my first change. Trained me for months and months. But as we trained, I started thinking, I don't want to go through my first change. Are you scared? Fuck no. I just don't want to be a Garu. You're all too unstable. Mom wasn't a Garu, and she was one of the best fighters the Karen had ever seen. I think that's why I drifted toward Ava and her way of doing things. Fortunately, Rodko mellowed out after a while. I was able to talk with him earlier. Seems like he's gotten more open-minded in these past few years. It took him some time to come around, but he finally realized that Ava's methods serve Gaia just as well as his do. Now he's got no problem with the idea of working with humans, or my choice to follow in Mom's footsteps. You really do take after your mother. Took me back at first. I miss her too, Kahal. I think about her every day. She would have been proud of you. If you say so. I'm proud of you too. That's nice of you to say and all, but I know you didn't want me to follow her path. That you wanted me to be a warrior like you and Rodko. 
I don't know about that. But Garu's life has its share of problems, too. I can't blame you for following your mother's example. She really was exceptional. She sacrificed herself for Gaia. And she didn't abandon me, so you know. Anyway, Ava and I will keep working at Endron's fracking site. We're gonna take those assholes down from the inside. Endron's built a fracking site? It was a rush job. They'd set it up and posted guards before we had any time to react. It's a danger to nature and the spirits alike. Those sites are one of the greatest threats Gaia faces today. It hurts my heart to work there. But I also know that I'm the best chance we've got of putting a stop to it. Soon. Sink Andrin from the inside. And how do you plan on doing that? A while back, Ava, Rodko, and I discovered that Endrin's injecting its new recruits with a special serum that makes them more... everything. Yeah, I saw it myself when I was in their training center. The injection transforms people. Makes them stink of the worm. There's more to it than that. When I first joined Endrin's ranks, I was trying to figure out what was going on with their biofuel project. But, while I was analyzing the formula for the biofuel, I noticed an encrypted molecule within it. No employees have access to its composition. That same molecule is in the substance they're injecting their troops with. As well as another project. The Earthblood Protocol. The Earthblood Protocol? Any idea what that's about? Not yet. But that can wait until after we figure out what this mystery molecule actually is. Once we figure out what that mystery molecule really is, we'll know what they're pumping their soldiers with, and their plans for this biofuel. Then we'll leak that info to everyone who'll listen, block the biofuel's launch, and hopefully put the final nail in Endron's coffin. Thing is, right now the encryption they're using on their data is impossible to break. That's why we came back. We wanted to tell Rodko how we were stuck and figure out what to do from here. Yeah, I read Ava's letter to Rodko. How can I help? If you want to help, go meet with Ava. She and Rodko will be figuring out our next steps. All right, I'll go check in with her and then have a talk with Rodko. Any idea where I'll find her? By our solar panels. If you've got any other questions, you'll find me with the rest of the pack. They need me. All right, so we need to go talk to two more characters. It seems like, eh, this episode's going to be nothing but talking. <laughs> Unfortunate uh, that our finale episode is just going to be talking, but I guess it does let you know what's going to happen next in the, in the story, uh, if you're at all interested. Awkward but Awkward relationships. Mm-hmm. Because nobody really wants you there. No. You should probably just go. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You kind of got to earn your place back, I'd say. I don't know why he left in the first place. I understand he was like, felt like he was a threat to others, but I mean, like, I don't know. That's why would you? Why would you leave your kid? I mean, how often do? I mean, I mean, I can't really judge people, honestly. I suppose because, you know, there's that happens with a lot of people. You know, they, they, they leave their kids, and in their minds, they say to themselves like, "Well, this is for the best for mm -hmm. my kid." And, like, I'm not the best person to be around them right now, but in your kid's eyes, it's like they just wanted you there, so. Yeah, I mean, I can't really judge, but uh, I, I understand. It's it's a, it's a complicated situation. But not for this guy. He was just being a bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> he should have stuck around. How you doing, big guy? Figured I'd get out of the way let you catch up with 80. Though, from the look on your face, it doesn't look like it went well. She's still angry at me for leaving. Can you blame her? Shit, being a teenager's bad enough, but Ludmilla's death, your exile, it was all hard on her. But you did what you had to. You had to get away from us to get yourself back on track. That's what I tried to tell her. I've been telling her that for years. Never eased her pain, though. But you're back now. It'll pass. Just give it time. Adana told me about your mission to infiltrate the fracking site. Yeah, about that. We're currently at a roadblock. Endron's data encryption is uncrackable. So she said. Our only way to get our hands on that data is to take it directly from the server in their lab. But surveillance is tight. Even Adana couldn't get in there without being caught. And I don't think I could create a big enough distraction to draw their security's eyes away.
What's Rodko think about you two going undercover like this? As you might imagine, he was a little resistant at first. But once he understood what we wanted to do, he gave us the green light. Sounds like you've got something in mind. If we want to draw security's attention, we have to hit them hard. Blowing up the refinery should do the trick. But that's not happening until we can get into the fracking site. That's step one. The site is protected by an electric fence and a myriad of cameras, all of which are powered by the dam Indrin acquired when it bought the site. Now, if someone could get into the dam and connect me to their network, I could access their system discreetly. Allowing you to cut the power to their defenses without their notice. Exactly. We can worry about the fracking site after that. Okay. I'll go talk to Rotko to see how he wants to make up the teams. Thanks, Gahal. It's good to have you back. But if you don't mind, I'd like to take a few moments for myself. Don't worry. Alright, so we might have to skip through some of this, guys, because, yeah, we're almost 20 minutes in here. And we haven't had any fighting. I, I feel it's like... It's all so important. Yeah, I feel like we need to have some fighting in the finale episode if we can. Which means, I mean, we'd probably have to skip right through all of what Rocco has to say if we want to get any combat in this. More stuff to read over here. <laughs> this letter must have been sent just before the attack on the cairn. So, were you able to talk with your daughter? As you might imagine, there's still a lot of... Between the attack on the Cairn and your son... Ava said that... Speak to bring... Alright, so we're gonna talk through... We're gonna skip through this, guys. Good. Excellent. I'm sure there was no important information there. Because, yeah, I want to get to this infil infiltrate the dam here. And you can see we have other missions we still gotta do before we can infiltrate the dam. We gotta meet up with somebody here. So we're just gonna race over here so we can get some combat, just because it's the, the the final episode here, guys. Gotta fight. Yeah, I don't think there would have been any fighting uh, in this video if we had sat there and listened to him and then whoever else is gonna talk to us. There still may not be. Maybe not. I'm just trying to see if there's any of those uh, you found your piece those guys, the little uh, spirit dudes, because if we find one more, I think we might level up. True. And that would be nice. Cause yeah, I didn't want to have to save that. We saved that one point. Just to get but this skill. Yeah, we gotta get something for it. Alright, so we're going back out into the forest here, guys. Ooh, what's this? Huh. We'll absorb that, and yep, that was just enough to get us right. the two points, as get I thought. Skill. All right, so. to figure out which skill it was we were saving for. Because, yeah, I don't, I don't remember what it was. I want to say it was like... A heavy or a healing? Well, the heavies are all three, so it can't be that. It's got to be one of these ones here. It could have also have been... No, it wasn't that one. There's the wild strength. Healing will now blow enemies back. The Krynos now has additional health. Uh, the heavy leap. Leap now inflicts damage on landing. Affects enemies nearby. How the wild. Roar now has an increased area effect and inflicts damage. And heart of fury. In agile stance. Krynos' health is low. Uh, maybe it's this one? I don't know. I think that's the one we're going to go with, though. I feel like we should up our howl ability. And we need a cool hat. Yes, and we need a cool hat. It's what's most important. Because <laughs> you don't want to go into battle with a stupid hat. No, everybody's laughing at Your you. Your hat is everything. Although if it is, if it's really stupid, and everybody's laughing, true. Then you might keep them distracted. Maybe. And if it's or like they ridiculously might kill silly, you and then take your hat as a trophy. True. All right, so it looks like we have multiple ways to go here. We could go down that way, or you just leap down here. Seems like probably the quicker way. Probably less access to spirits, though. Not seeing any around here. We'll keep our eye out. Just an easy source of experience. And what we're probably going to do, because there's a trophy for it, is if we get into like any conversations with where we can rage out, mm -hmm. we're just going to rage out immediately so we can get that trophy. <laughs> Are you ready to rage? Hey, Kahal, right? You must be Declan. You with Lambda Mankind? That's right. Ava's told me all about you. It's an honor, really. I don't know about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll just skip through this too, guys. Uh, so we, we can get some fighting here, here in the last episode. You meet I, you, uh, yeah. reflect. I, I just don't understand. Why do they give you the, the choice to pick which one you want to listen to before you go, we've identified when... Keep you have to do them both any damn way. Yeah. It's kind of odd. 
They're like, well, which order do you want? Yeah, that's basically you're just picking that's which which order you want to have the conversation in. All right, so we're in sneak mode, but we're not going to do any sneaking, guys. Because I'm ready to werewolf out. <laughs> oh, this is locked. Damn, werewolf out. Hmm. Rip the door off the hinges. All right, it's over here. And because we're stuck in sneak mode, we're going to have I to guess. go turn to the dog. If you want to use your nimbly people hands. Come on. I say huh. nimbly. Oh, this is locked, too. Huh. Oh, okay. I looked at that wrong. Uh, it looks like we have to... Or something. Work a terminal up in the guard tower. I think it's this door right here is what we need to go to. Yeah. Nope, that's locked, too. It's all locked. Hmm. There's got to be a way in here. Look, at they got mechs in there. Can we get this one open? Oh, there it is right there. Sneak through here. Sneaky wolf hole. Mm-hmm. Although we're not too sure it's not a fox. <laughs> <laughs> Big shaggy See, so yeah, we're just going to rage out. <laughs> Rawr! <laughs> Surprise, now, bitches. I have not played in a while, guys, so... Forgive me if I suck. Whoa. And there's also the how, which we got the new how. We haven't used that yet. Oh. And he's got some like electrical tank. Are these all like scientists sitting around? No. <laughs> oh no. Oh, come ah, on. Hell. All right, so we are not doing well right now. I wish you could eat people for health. Yeah. What is that, Rampage? I feel like that's a missed opportunity at Rampage you can. I bet a lot of these games where you play I as a monster. Just chucking little tiny people in your mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm glad that we skipped past these and got into the into the combat guys because this is really the highlight of the game in my opinion yeah this is the the best part of the game i feel like the sneaking is pretty garbage or i mean i guess pretty standard i suppose for us for these games but i guess we can go in front of one. Yeah. yeah the story's just all right the dialogue is just okay yeah so i mean i feel like this is the the highlight of the game oh you're out of wolf juice mm-hmm well, we're out of enemies to fight. Man, we mucked this place up. We destroyed everything. Even the damn truck. So much blood. Yeah, I feel like God, the combat... It's everywhere. You know, the combat's not anything, like, special. It's not anything you haven't seen before. But it's it's fun enough. It does the job. There needs to be a janitor mode, though. What? Well, the janitor <laughs> mode? <laughs> what, to clean up the muck? Yeah. We just go around mopping shit up. Like, oh. I mean, they have a game like that, Jinx. The were yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that one game. The werewolves again. We lost a lot of them in the. Feels like it's just the right way to play the game. It dude. is, and it destroys everything in the room. Mhm. Mm it, it goes by too quick, though. Yeah, well, there's only two bad guys this time. But yeah, I don't know what they're doing with all the... I guess there's nothing in here. We didn't have to go in. Maybe you can interact with that? Oh, yeah, we can interact with this. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what they'd be doing with the... With the game, man. Did you open the door? Yeah. Hmm. It should be open. Like, just let us be a werewolf. That's all I want to like, do. that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wasn't impressed with the, the sneaking, but I didn't think it was going to be such a massive part of the game. True. It's like, there's a lot... Of sneaking in this game, quite a bit of it. I do like being a dog, though. Yeah, it's fun being a dog that jumps like a fox. The animations are nice. Yeah. For yeah. the dog. <laughs> and it's not like the most like the the best looking game or anything. It's okay. It does. Somebody said it looks like a game from like ten years ago. What does the commander? I can agree with that. Buddy? Yeah. You'll know as soon as I do. But yeah, as far as like, I mean, it's okay. It's okay, guys. It's not a bad game. I want you. I want to rage out in front of him. Oh, that's a big dude. Yeah, he's a big dude. I want to run out in front of him and then rage out. And then take your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> you want to see me naked? He did not even care. He was No, it didn't affect him. It didn't affect him at all, really. And uh, freaking next. 
Ooh, man. They're kind of getting messed up a little bit. Just a bit. Oh, oh he saw your nipples. Oh, no. My nipples? Yeah. I think we're going to have to use the other mode, guys. But let's get rid of all these guys first. And get rid of all them, and, and then we'll we'll fight the mech guy. Destroy. Or we'll fight the mech guy now. Yeah, we got to get rid of these snipers. Man. We can't have them firing on us the entire time. Man, we're getting messed up here. I don't think mechs would be very good at jumping. No, I don't think so either. Mm -mm. Well, this guy sure jumps a lot. Like, you run a serious risk of just falling down. You guys are really passive this time, aren't they? Yeah, they're taking a nap. Look oh, at oh, whoa. It's the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, did we miss him with that? Yeah, you, you can't jump with this. Alright, so we're gonna try and use this a bit. Because this thing does a lot more damage. I'm trying to use that mode and something. Gonna... Whoa! Alright, we better switch out. We're getting fucked up over here. They caught a lot more dudes in here. I'm just standing around. Mm-hmm. Like, uh, should we shoot at it? <laughs> Damn, that, that uh, electricity musses you up, man. I mean, if you're gonna go into a room where a werewolf is rapid, yeah, I think we're about everyone, to die. You might as well shoot. Man, we're, we're doing, uh,. Not so well, guys. Well yeah, he's enough. like a t nah, really good at jumping. <laughs> Not doing well uh, enough. We got no health left, Jinx. We're about to it's die. Fine. Yeah, we're, we're in a tricky situation because they're both almost dead, but I got no health. Ah, uh, uh, no, we're stuck. Camera angles. All right, see, so that didn't work out, guys. Let's try that again. But yeah, we could just skip past all this, of course. As well, but yeah, why would you? I mean, this is this is the game, honestly, in my opinion. This plan is werewolf. So far, not a lot of variety with the the enemies as well. Which, if you're gonna have a combat game, I feel like you gotta have a little bit more variety. Which we haven't made it that far, so maybe they get uh, they add new stuff in there. But you know, we've seen a few different enemies, like the big dudes. And of course, the you got the mechs or the brute guys. Yeah, I was talking about the brute guys, but oh. yeah, you got the you got the mechs as well. I might have more werewolves eventually. I don't know. True. So, I mean, there might be a little bit of variety, but for a game that's focused, you know, on combat, that's what it does. And it does seem like it doesn't have very many enemies thus far. And thus it might, you know, get boring, get a bit repetitive. Though I don't know if the game's long enough to get repetitive, because to me it seems like the game's kind of short. And that's what somebody told me in the comments as well, that you, could, you can beat through the game pretty quick. Now, I don't know how many hours we've played, but not many. Five episodes worth. <laughs> yeah, uh, the first episode was an hour. Can we take out the big guy by sneaking on him, or does that not work? I don't think so. I think the big guy you just gotta take out with big guy things. Like, where we all <laughs> So maybe we can weaken... I like the weaken the mech. Because those guys are... Oh, he's not inside one of these. Because, yeah, I was going to say, those guys are kind of a pain. I was hoping. Uh -oh. <laughs> that didn't work out. All right, so we're fighting. Oh. Werewolf. Fucking popping out of the wall. Oh, see, you're like. <sighs> Come on, Laura, get out of there. Going roar, but nobody's impressed. Mm -hmm. Nobody's impressed with my roars. Look at them. He just laid down on the ground. <laughs> That'd be me. <laughs> yeah. Man, we're we're not doing good this time either, I guess. I don't get paid enough for this. Oh, I'm gonna lie down. <laughs> Man, we're having difficulty. My good I'm focusing so much on like smashing shit. Yeah, you just gotta avoid those big guys when all these because these snipers here. Oh, yeah. yeah, you can't like concentrate so much on the the big dudes. Yeah, and yeah, they come up and punch you in the back of the head. Mm-hmm. And there needs to be more like area of effect attacks. I think there are. Uh, you'll notice that a lot of the the abilities get area of effect, uh, you know, added to them. Werewolf two. <laughs> All right, so I think it's just them two now. Stay away from them, razors. Damn it! All right, so I'm gonna try and use this thing on him. Looks like we can grab him now. All right, so he's done for. More guys coming though. Oh man. 
Oh, so what? Why? Against the wrong enemy. I was pointing at that guy. Oh, you changed your mind, I suppose. Alright, let's use this health real quick. Alright, let's go ahead and switch modes. I think yeah. they're more dressed like they're gonna go golfing. Who? Which is? The dudes in the white with the visor. I think they're just like... Regular old dudes, man, like a scientist. <laughs> I thought you meant like regular old dudes just off the streets. I don't think they're supposed to be like scientists. A in here? And then somebody gave the scientists guns. Said, here, scientist, get out there and fight. Yes, He's like, what if it's a werewolf? werewolf. Alright, so I think we need to go this way. Fight. We can see what's up here since they're directing us to the other location. I'll go up here real quick, see if there's any secrets. Yeah, this just looks like the, how you could have avoided the fight. You know, if you had done some sneak in, this leads back down to here. Yeah, we could have completely oh. avoided the fight here if you did some sneak in. Oh well. Again, though, I'm not sure like where they're going with that. Like, play our, our crappy sneaking game, and you can sneak past all the combat, which is the fun part of the game. <laughs> and it's just kind of strange. I'm not sure what the the logic of it was. Uh, when they added it, it just doesn't seem like the type of game where you need a sneaking. I, I really think they just added sneaking so you could play as a dog. Ava, I'm at the entrance to the site. Good. The dam is down below. I'll give you the targets once you're in. Try to be careful. Don't worry. This isn't my first rodeo. Alright, so we're back under control. Uh, this is just about the end of the episode here, guys. Uh, the reason why we did a finale, why we wanted to, you know, because we didn't have to, and obviously it wasn't a, a popular series, and, you know, it's been a long time since we had a video. Uh, so... The reason why we did decide to do a finale is because I just wanted to tell you guys our thoughts because we hadn't really uh, talked that much about them as we were playing. And just kind of tell you whether I thought it was, was worth the purchase and, and just overall what our p opinion was. And what I'll say is that the combat's fun. It doesn't do anything special. It doesn't do anything amazing or different. But it's fun. Uh, so on that, yeah, I guess you could buy it for like on a sale. I, I don't know that I'd recommend getting it at full price because it... It's kind of pricey for what it is, and again, yeah, it's with these games like overcharging for what they're offering. I, I know, know making games is expensive. Mm -hmm. but it seems like there's some greed involved. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, there's there's always going to be greed involved, but but yeah, I would say like that seems to be maybe it's just inflation. That's that true. seems to be the Could standard. Be Seems to be the standard is that all these games, you know, over are overpriced in, in our opinion anyway. Now we're poor, so maybe we uh, value True. things differently. But you even see that. <laughs> <laughs> I bet I could just kill all these guys. You wouldn't care. Oh, he saw that one. <laughs> He's like, I'm looking right at you. <laughs> <laughs> like none of this is counting. It's him having seen us. All right, so that's. That's the one that got us. Well, at some point, the responsibility <laughs> falls on him for not doing anything about mm -hmm. it. <laughs> All right, like, so that's it for walking around, you know, kicking people in the back of the knee. Uh huh. <laughs> and he just thinks that that's fine. Right, so let's get this guy with that ability there. Yeah, we take off like two thirds of his health for that. We need to grab these guys more. And chuck them. Right, hey, yeah. Man. Yeah, we'll kill all these guys first here. Maybe if I find them. And get them. Can you destroy these after you're already werewolf? No, you can't. No. Apparently only a human can destroy those. You gotta deal with them. Yeah, werewolves can't do it. That's strange. Uh, we should probably heal up. Ugh, they're just running from me. Cowards. <laughs> but yeah, I, I like the combat. Combat's pretty fun. Uh, it's a game that you could probably play here in a couple sittings if you weren't doing it for like a YouTube channel. 
I like that everything gets covered in blood. Yeah. <laughs> The gore is cool. I just wish that they had dismemberment. It seems very odd to have it like this gory and, and no dismemberment. Yeah. I think that was a missed opportunity overall. But yeah, it's just an okay ga uh, game overall, guys. I can see why it probably wasn't all that popular here on the channels because yeah, it's just it's just all right. Uh, so yeah, maybe if if what you saw here looks fun and enjoyable to you, if you want to see where the story is going, then yeah, maybe pick it up on sale. Uh, but I wouldn't pay full price for this uh, because it's. It's, it doesn't feel like it's worth pricey. it. It's, it's pricey, yeah. And uh, the, the focus on stealth, I feel like it was a, a mistake. Uh, you can have the story, you can have the dialogue. I mean, that works, I suppose. Uh, but it, it's the the stealth that, that throws me off on this. And, and you're not forced to do it. It's just strange that like they have it. And what and there's no advantage to doing it. If I say you, you encourage me to be stealthy, I should get something from it. Um, True. Like some experience or something. Yeah, but you don't get anything for it. You just miss out on the, the combat. So that, that's my main gripe with it is, is the stealth and the, 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 there's no encouragement of it. There's no reason to do it. It's just you're missing out on the game if you do it, basically. Uh, but yeah, it, it's an all right game. Uh, so yeah, it, was, it was a fun series. Jinx and I always have fun playing any game together almost. Uh, so I did enjoy the series overall. And uh, it's a shame that we didn't have more views as well. Uh, it just wasn't it wasn't a very popular game overall uh, but yeah had some fun with it and this will be the end here uh, I do hope you guys enjoyed somebody's talking <laughs> I heard them hmm. anyways I do hope you guys enjoyed the series if you did make sure you leave a like on the video subscribe to our channel hit that notification bell and leave a comment maybe go check out the new series that we just started though it is a, a short series as well we're only doing two videos for it it's the uh, taxi chaos and that's it's interesting. It's fun. It's another one that's you know you know definitely not one I would recommend to buy at full price. Uh, it kind of feels like a rip off at the price that they were they're asking for mm -hmm. it. Uh, but it, it's fun for a little while, and that's why we did those those two videos of it. And I, I feel like uh, the videos were certainly pretty fun. Jenks and I always have fun with providing commentary on these games that don't have any story or anything that don't like interrupt us all the time. So we yeah, just we just, just chit chat. Yeah, jabber. Uh huh. And. Uh, Overall, those two videos are pretty fun, so maybe go check those out, or check out one of our other series. We have 3,000 something videos on the channel, and if you go to the front page, they're all, all sorted by genre. So you should be able to find something to watch while you wait for the next series to start up. And remember, if you're looking for any links, check out the description of any of our videos. You'll find links to our PayPal, Patreon, and Teespring store if you'd like to help support the channel. You'll find links to our Discord if you'd like to join our community. And finally, you'll find links to all of our social media if you like to follow us on there. All right, so that's going to be the end of the video, the end of the series. I do hope to see you guys on another one, and thanks for watching.